Right, we're going to let them out. This is the first time the new hens have been in our part of the garden, but we do let them, we do share when the grass is long enough. And they know. Come on, then. Come on, then. So there's pretty much only the new ones up there now. And we'll just let them out till dusk. Oh yeah, one of the new girls might come out. He's heading this way. A really useful thing to have if you ever get hens is this ugly green plastic fencing because it's movable but they can't get over it because they can't jump that high and they can't land on the they can jump that high if they can land on the top of it they can't jump over it so it's actually quite effective lasts for years and you can obviously move it around and we've sometimes used it to um, we've sometimes used it to uh, quarantine hens away from other hens, you know, if we thought they need to be kept separate. Here she comes. Here come some of the new girls. So this is their first taste of grass and their first feel of grass under their feet. When we first moved here, there was grass beyond the fence there, but obviously with the hens being on it all the time, that didn't last long. <laughs> Hello. Look how perky they look. I'm just going to go up the garden and check on the girl who's a bit nervous and not so well. John will just video the hens a little bit more for me and then um, that will be the end of this one. Look at them all eating grass up there. Bye! Little dispute there and uh, Huey straight in to sort it out. Now they're all congregating there because we've just put that fence back up and last time they were out they went through there into my freshly dug area which we want to keep them off now because we're about to start planting. <laughs> 